This video will provide a quick overview of VoiceThread uses and setting up a VoiceThread assignment. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the area of your course where you'd like to place the VoiceThread. Once you get there, you'll hover over the Tools tab and you'll scroll down and select VoiceThread. Um, so what you name the VoiceThread is well, the title, it's just like everything in Blackboard, it's required. Um, so I use this uh, sometimes weekly or sometimes for units. So I could say week, uh, week, week number eight uh, discussion, or you could call it week number eight. Um, I guess it depends on what you're using it for. So you can use VoiceThread to provide uh, recorded lectures, or you can um, use it as I'll demonstrate as um, a weekly activity for students. Um, so we provide a title, a description. I typically give students my description in VoiceThreads, and I'll show you that. Um, if you have attachments, you can include that here. If you're going to make this a graded activity, you'll click yes and give it a point as possible. Um, let's just say 100. And do we want it visible? And when, do it, when is it due? As always, please set a due date. That helps students uh, kind of keep track of what they have due and when it's due and look at their workload. Um, the thing about VoiceThread grading is that it um, you do all of your grading in VoiceThread and then it pushes the grades back to Blackboard. There will be more on that in the grading videos. So we give it a due date. We want to make sure it's visible. Uh, there's a second layer of visibility that's the Blackboard version, so we leave it at yes. And we can track the number of views, which tells us how many times students have clicked on this VoiceThread link. We'll click Submit. And then when the page loads, uh, it'll say Week 8 Discussion, and we click that link. What you're about to see is uh, this from the instructor side, so students won't necessarily see this process when they click the link. So VoiceThread is going to load and it's going to give you a couple of different options. Um, if you select Course View, that's going to take them to your page of all of your VoiceThreads. An individual VoiceThread would be if you have one created or someone shared one with you and you want to link to it. Um, same thing for Home, this would take them to their home in VoiceThread where they could create one. And then finally, Assignment Builder. And this is, this is the function that I use the most in VoiceThread. So I'll click Assignment Builder. And then I have to decide what I want them to do. Do I want them to create a VoiceThread? Do I want them to submit comments? Or do I just want them to watch it? I use VoiceThread in, um, not every week, but most weeks um, instead of the Blackboard Discussion Board tool because I have found that I get more out of my students by giving them the option to comment using audio, video, or text. So we're going to just uh, stick with um, uh, submit a comment. And I'm going to create a new voice thread for this activity. What I like to do is create slides. So if you're using this for a lecture, you could dump your PowerPoint slides in here. If you're using this for a discussion or some other activity, your slides might be the prompts or the things they need to do. Um, so my example would be uh, the prompts. So I'm going to uh, go to my computer. I'm going to, sorry, got a lot of stuff here, like most people. Um, let's do this. Here we go. And I'm going to use my week four, or unit four, week nine um, lesson, or my slides, I guess. And so give it a title, and I, I just use the same thing I've put in Blackboard. So week uh, number eight. Uh, voice thread discussion. Give it a description. This week we're talking about X. Uh, if you want to give it tags, you can tag. You'll always be presented with playback options. Um, this is what you're seeing here is kind of my default. You can adjust it for your liking. I don't really want students to upload files here. I want that to be in Blackboard. So I allow them to comment with microphone, webcam, telephone, or text. I like threaded commenting so that way they can comment on other people's comments. Um, either way, uh, set your settings and then click save. Oh, we've got an error. So let's trash this. And then I will browse my computer and let's try to pull in um, 
a different set of slides. This this should do. Um, I think this was my instructor introduction that I used. And so it'll take it a second to process. If you've got a large PowerPoint, um, you're going to want to give it some time. It does not pick up on any voiceover. So really all you're going to get is the slides and you'll, you'll be um, getting your voiceover through VoiceThread. Okay, so my slides are here. So I've got my slides now. What I want to do, um, and this is kind of my best practice, but I like to um, add some comments before I get going. So I click comment there and it shows you the slides that I've uploaded. Um, this is the VoiceThread interface. Um, a couple of different areas. This is where commenting will show up. This plus at the bottom is how you insert a comment. So you, if you want to type, um, if you want to record video or audio. And finally, this phone option. What this does is if you provide a phone number, VoiceThread will call you to help you record your comments. Um, and then over here in the far right, what you see is there's an arrow and that lets us navigate the different slides. And so uh, this was some of the information I shared with students at the beginning of the semester. Um, if this was an assignment or a discussion prompt, you know, I could have a question on each slide. What, what I like to do on the first slide of my voice thread is to create a comment and give them an overview of what my expectations are. Um, that process is pretty similar, uh, pretty easy. So I, I turn on the microphone while well, it's telling me that I'm using it for something else. So we, we won't be able to do that here, uh, but you'll be able to click record and it's going to give you the opportunity to preview your audio or video before you post it um, and the nice thing is uh, once it's up there you can always remove it and repost and then as students start commenting on the the various slides you could say hey yeah if you see anything interested in interesting in my slides feel free to add a comment um, and so uh, what students inevitably comment on when I talk about work experience is my teaching in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. Um, I've taught at three different um, uh, prison facilities across the state in Pine Bluff, Malvern, and in Little Rock, or Wrightsville, I suppose. Um, so a lot of times when this slide comes up, students comment and they, you know, so they, whoa, wow, wow. And, and then a lot of, after they get going, I like to come in and um, Kind of contribute and comment on what they have to say which is nice because you i can spend less time thinking about what i'm writing and i can just post a quick audio comment they get what i need from or they get what they need from me and i can contribute and kind of keep that conversation going um, we'll look at how these things how the comments are graded in another video but overall uh, this is a voice thread and we've talked about adding the slides and adding comments um, to kind of provide guidance to students um, before they get going. Um, once you've got it the way you want, insert any comments that you like, you click X here and we'll click create assignment. It's going to ask for a description again. Uh, I just, you know, basically stick with what I've got because I'm doing all my description as an audio comment. Here it, um, we can designate how many uh, comments similar to Blackboard, so if I want them to post and then reply to each other, I can select the number of comments. Once I'm ready, I'll click Create Assignment, and it, gives, it, it asks me to return to the course. And you gotta get this dead end page, so what I like to do is um, click Unit 1, wherever you can on the breadcrumbs, as it's called. You're back in the class, and now when you click your voice thread, it's going to take you directly to that voice thread assignment. Um, let's see. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. So, um, this is actually the grading page. As students submit and uh, make their uh, posts, they show up here, and you'll be able to, uh, under Drew's name, it would give you a link to each specific comment of mine. You could listen to them and insert a grade value. If you want to get back to the actual uh, voice thread and interact with the students, instead of looking at this grading area, you have to click uh, this link in the center of the screen. And it takes you to the voice thread where you can insert comments, edit comments, and interact with the students.